<sighs> okay. This image pretty much summarized the whole show. What up everybody, Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup, here with a... Yeah, it's not going to be a review, this is going to be a rant of The Book of Boba Fett. The Book of Boba Fett is the newest Disney Plus Star Wars affiliated show, and obviously it's about Boba Fett. He is the menacing bunny hunter and the son of Yang Fett, and I love Boba Fett when I was young. Like he and Lando was my favorite characters even though they didn't have much to do just the way they were and their aesthetic was just cool all the way. So I was pretty excited when I saw him on the second season of The Mandalorian and seeing that ending and that introduction of his show pretty much taking over Tatooine after Jabba Hutt. And yeah. Now the seventh episode was released uh, yesterday and I just saw the last episode of the first season of the Book of Boba Fett and I am thoroughly disappointed uh, with this show. Even though the last episode is jam-packed, it's action, it has comedy, it has monsters, it has death, it has cool returning characters. To me, I just felt bummed out. And I just felt like Boba Fett was just sidelined all the way in his own goddamn show. How is that even possible? <coughs> the Mandalorian first and second season is amazing. Uh, even though it has slower episodes, Overall, as a package, it's been great so far. So, this show, it just feels like John Favreau, Dave Filoni, they wanted to do the Book of Boba Fett, but they did not really put their heart into it. Hear me out. I'm mainly going to talk about the last episode because it pretty much summarized the show through and through. Boba Fett, what new did we know about him? We pretty much knew what happened after his death, but what new information did we know about him? Not that much. What more as a character did we know about him? Not that much. He has one plan and one plan only. We know more about Finnick, okay? We know more about the Mandalorian than him. We know more about the, the cyborg teenagers than him. We know more about the characters from Freetown than him. Jesu! It's weird. It's just weird. A character like Boba Fett, we don't know that much about. We know more about Luke Skywalker, and he was in the last episode. The 10 minutes of screen time we got with Luke, we knew more about him than Boba Fett. And this crazy thing is that Boba Fett overall is in his own show for five, no, for, yeah, five episodes in total. Five, guys. A show centered around the character of Boba Fett is in its own show for five episodes. That is either you don't trust the character or you just don't care. And overall, the last episode, it was fun. I just started to get more questions about like, you pretty much introduce an awesome character from Clone Wars called Cad Bane. That character is awesome. But you introduce him pretty much to almost the last episode. Why do you introduce a character that's that awesome that late? I just don't know why. You're supposed to introduce him in the first episode. Cad Bane has a rich backstory. We did not know that much about him. The duel between Cad Bane and Boba Fett was pretty much the highlight of the episode. It feels like this. A lot of people, a lot of characters were pretty much overtaking the show or overtaking the episode. And Boba Fett was just there to be there. And it was a lot of times I was just sitting there and being like, oh, this scene would be perfect with Boba. This scene would be perfect if Boba was here. This scene would be great if Boba was here. But he wasn't. He had one scene only where he was badass. And that was pretty much with the monsters and also with Cat Bane. Except that 
He wasn't doing that much. It was more Mandalorian that was doing stuff. Fennec had a badass scene. Uh, the uh, civilians of Freetown had a badass scenes. Even the fucking sniper girl from Freetown had more to do than fucking Boba Fett. How does it make sense? I just don't know. Okay. I am so disappointed and frustrated because I gave my chance and, and I really hoped that this show was going to win me over, but it just didn't. I was disappointed and a bit sad that Boba Fett was just wasted in his own show. I just don't... Yeah, it's just, it's, it's irritating. And the show's, and the show's tone is all over the place. One minute is comedy. You know, Star Wars has always been like that. You want to mix up with comedy and action and Western. I get it. But in this episode, it doesn't feel like it's balancing well. It's all over the place. The tone is one minute funny and the next minute is action and the next minute is dark. It's just all over the place. It doesn't feel natural. So after Cad Bane, pretty much die, spoilers, I'm sorry. People are just joking about it. And that is the whole Disney thing, and Marvel also. It's the tonality. It's one minute they wanna do this, next minute they wanna do that. And it just goes all over the place and it becomes a little bit jumbo. So in here, you know, Boba Fett is a character who has a dark backstory. Why not having him being that? Why not having him keeping his aesthetic of being mystique? <sighs> It just feels like this show, instead of being the Book of Boba Fett, it became The Mandalorian 2.5. If they just supposed to give us a character-driven story, I would be more satisfied, but it weren't. I'm a fan of Boba Fett, but in the end, Boba Fett just became soft and boring instead of being this body hunter that has a mission. And while having this mission, we get a little bit crumbs of his life. You know, the backstory wasn't convincing for me. I was never glued to his backstory, the little backstory we got. And as a character of Boba Fett, we didn't know that much about him. Hopefully, they are taking all of this criticism and fixing it by the second season. But if not, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna really wanna see the second season. Stop the cap. <laughs> The last episode just felt like a nice, fresh food that is getting served to you. But the more you're eating it, the more you start realizing that it's, it's not that nice. It's kind of nasty. It looks nice, but it tastes bland. Overall, my rating of this show, I'm probably going to give it a three. You know, I don't want to be that harsh. I was entertained. My <laughs> sixth episode was probably my favorite one. And that is the episode that has Boba Fett for two minutes of screen time. But yeah, anyways, guys, am I wrong? Am I right? Write on the comments down below and let your boy know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. With my rant of the last episode of The Book of Boba Fett. Until next time, guys, I'm giving you out there. Peace. Yeah.